name is McKay Tebbs. I am a music professor at Southern Utah University where I direct the commercial music program. Here at SUU, I teach the Survey of Music Tech class. I also teach a class called Recording Studio Operations, Music Theory for Commercial Music Students. I also direct an ensemble of commercial music students called Alternate Currents. My passion for music started at a young age. When I was 12, I wanted to play guitar. As a teenager, I felt like if I was going to progress as a guitar player, I needed to go to Berkeley College of Music, and I just really felt compelled to want to go for it. But it was um, a scary thought to think about how I was going to pay for it and make ends meet. About 20 years ago, I was attending a local college and I was preparing to go to Berkeley. And one night I got a call from my high school counselor and she explained to me that there was this new scholarship available. The scholarship was called the Jessica Elizabeth Luttrell Scholarship. Jessica was a girl who grew up in Southern Utah and she had the dream of growing up to become a, a teacher going to college, but shortly after she graduated from high school, she was in a car accident she passed away. So her parents decided to start the scholarship in her memory as a way of remembering her and what her dream was. So the next day I woke up, I, I drove to campus where I was going to school, um, and I remember at the end of the day I was going to drive back home and I got in my car and tried to start it, but it wouldn't start and I realized it was out of gas. I bought a gas can, I filled it up, I was, I was bringing it back to my car. And that path takes you right directly through a cemetery and as I was walking through that cemetery I just noticed there was a gravestone and when I got there I noticed that the name on the headstone said Jessica Elizabeth Luttrell. It was the gravestone of the girl that I had just heard about the night before when my counselor was telling me. And so I had a moment there by the graveside where I talked out loud and I expressed my desires to want to go to Berkeley and how I needed help and scholarship. And while I was standing there, I made a promise and I promised her that I would write a song for her someday. I also promised that if the opportunity came, I would create a scholarship so that I could pay back something that was given to me at that time. At the beginning of the summer, I heard back from Jessica's parents that I was selected to receive their scholarship and, and I had found a way to help me to pay for my education at Berkeley. This year marks the 20th anniversary for me of this experience that happened when I received my scholarship. And so I, I felt a strong urgency that it, it was time to, to give something back. So I had the idea to start a music scholarship for music students here at SUU where I'm teaching, uh, specifically for commercial music students. Students can apply for this scholarship directly on the music department website. They sign up for an audition date and then they just indicate that they are interested in studying commercial music and interested in the scholarship. And from there the faculty will get together and determine how the scholarship will be distributed. I feel like being a donor is a very rewarding experience. People interested in donating to the Commercial Music Scholarship can contribute by reaching out to the Advancement Office here on campus. You can actually donate a very small amount of money and by doing that it can make a big difference. I think that it's important to realize that none of us get to where we want to go by ourselves and that we have all gotten there through the help of other people. And at some point it's our turn to be that person that's helping other people.